Yeah. You like that? <laughs> we've only been we've only been sitting here for like an extra 20 minutes. Um <clears throat> that's all right. Hello everybody. Good evening. <laughs> and welcome to Tabletop Roleplay Theater. <clears throat> I'm getting better day by day, moment by moment. My name is Curtis, and I am the Game Master for our Friday Night Horror Series of Cult Divinity Lost Manhattan. I'm not only the Game Master for tonight's game, but I'm also the Executive Director here at Tabletop Roleplay Theater, and I am excited tonight because not only do we get closer to what is bound to be an exciting an incredible finish to this very series. Don't panic. We still have four episodes left. But I also have a few announcements to make tonight. The first one I'm going to make now, which is, <clears throat> I'll have another one that I'm going to make at the break and another one I'm going to make for at the end. That's how we drag you to keep you in and watching all night long. So <laughs> tricks of the trade. Um, I think you'll like them all. My first announcement, since you are all still a bit panicked, I can sense from the whole four episodes left thing, is this. There is going to be an eight episode epilogue to follow what happens to Sasha, Blythe, Ernest, Joel, and perhaps even Harvey Winston. Because as fans of the game Cult Divinity Lost know, death is only the beginning. We will stream the trailer for Manhattan, the Enlightened Episodes, next week during our break for all of you diehard cultists out there. And to keep you interested in the other announcements coming tonight, at break, you'll find out what's going to happen to this awesome company of role players after Manhattan. And at the end of tonight's stream, I want to tell you about another fantastic and exciting new project being developed for TTRP Theater with some publisher support. So make sure you stay here for all of that fantastic, exciting news. But before we start tonight's fantastic game, fantastic, I seem to be, I, I use that word like the third time I've used that word. All right, note to self. It is. Fantastic is quite the, the fantastic word. It's fantastic, Jaylee. Um, <clears throat> it really is. <laughs> how, do we, how do we do it? Helm Guest, if you're watching, thank you <laughs> for a fantastic game. And Roll20 for making it easier to play with your many fantastic resources, including cult character sheets in both the fantastic third and fourth Cult Divinity Lost editions. Now, let's meet our fantastic players who bring this story to life. Let's... <laughs> Uh, maybe I've, maybe I've pushed it too far. Um, I'm going to, <laughs> I think I've gone as far as I could go with that. Let's start with the fantastic Jaylee. Yeah. <laughs> no sound. Oh, are you kidding me? God damn it. Sure. I just heard the no sound. Fantastic. No sound. Oh, Why did it hurt? All Why did that it was lost? How will people know who I am and who I play? Well, they know you're fantastic. That's all that matters. That's true. <laughs> yeah, they know you're fantastic. fantastic. Oh, they well, heard, there they go. Oh, okay. They heard There you me. go. 
They heard Curtis at least. There you Wait, go. so they didn't hear all of our witty uh, comments that whole time? <laughs> no, they that... just saw our mouths moving the whole bunch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no Thank we you, T Dwarf 67, for keeping us <laughs> on track. We'll do introductions again. That's exciting. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> fantastic. Also, what happened to your sticky notes, Curtis? Come on. <gasps> They were starting to cover the screen. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, um, yeah, fuck that up. Um, here, take two. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to Welcome Tabletop to Roleplay Spanish Theater. Again. My name is Old Curtis, and I don't know how to use this OBS thing. I hate technology. Energy, technology. <laughs> all right, all right. So I'll I'll skip a whole bunch of the flowery stuff. And um, I I was oh. telling everybody we had three fucking announcements tonight. Well, they they heard he, he you. heard they you. Just they didn't heard that part. They just didn't hear oh. us. Oh. No need to swear at the viewers. Okay. My goodness. Sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I don't have to redo everything. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. I'm. <laughs> Um, all right. Now let's meet our players who do such a fantastic <laughs> job of putting all of this to life. Um, let's start with Jaylee. Hello, <laughs> I'm Jaylee, and I play Harvey Winston, the curse. My name is Chris. I feel like we have to get all these laughs out now because the rest of this night is going to be just tragic, I'm sure. Oh, getting worse by the moment. Oh I God. play uh, Dr. <laughs> Ernest Kennedy, the scientist. Uh, and I'm Erica, and I play Joel, the Avenger. And I'm Duke. I play Sasha, the Broken. Hi, and I'm Curtis, and I play someone who doesn't know how to work a whole lot of this stuff, but I do my best, and Krista is on her way, um, should be here soon, That all of that was pre-planned, that was all just a stall tactic to get us to the 735 <laughs> number. And what um, a fantastic job you did, Curtis, it was fantastic. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, players. Now. Let's tear into episode 16 of Cult Divinity Lost Manhattan. And just hold them up individually, like in five second increments after we go live. Don't forget to flip the switch. Don't forget to flip the switch. Don't forget to flip the switch, hey, don't forget to flip the switch Curtis. Hey, are we, yeah, are, we, are we live? You should Can remind they hear us. Me. Yeah. Uh, you're yeah. a fantastic game master. They, they should be able to hear us now. Did you flip fantastic. the switch? Did I flip the switch? I think I flipped it. Fantastic. Okay, so we're still kind of stalling for Blythe, who should be here just about any moment. So that's going to um, that'll mess with things. But the on our previous episode, the tortured souls of our players, myself right now, of our player characters faced unbelievable and un unacceptable information and choices 
there were murders, suicides, blood galore. And I'm kind of curious. I don't really, I don't have a big, long, drawn out intro to start tonight's game because everything was so exciting when everything was going on last night. I just kind of want to jump into it. And Harvey had just been shot in the head by the MC. Sasha, the broken is broken. What are you doing, Sasha? Um, twitching, <laughs> being dragged away by Joel. Um, I mean, it's <clears throat> so, yeah, that's right. Joel was dragging you away when Joel had spun me about, um, the, the smoke that they had seen come out of me and tendrils that had seen, you know, that they've all seen come out of my arm when I go to the doorway, um, is just, um, running back and forth between my eyes and it just increases and increases and is going from my eyes into my mouth and up my nose and just kind of in and out of all of my orifices in my face and I am um, I am blank Jill what are you doing well she had knocked the knees out from underneath him as soon as like Harvey hit the ground and it's like trying to find somewhere to drag him off. That's like quiet. <clears throat> there is no quiet place. You are being watched by hundreds of people. Uh, there literally is a crowd of people watching the show. And at this moment, you guys are the show. Of course, the most violent scene of Harvey losing his life right there on stage and all of the blood and gore is still scattered about. Dr. Kennedy, when you were watching this, they, they put the spotlight on you for a moment and there were... There was a cheer, and then apparently whoever cheered lost his life. And then they panned back to the stage, as it were, where the MC was, and then the events unfolded. How are you reacting to this? Uh, he would have tossed aside his plate of cocktail shrimp, uh after harvey took one to the face and he would be trying to make his way over there he knows there's nothing he can do but he's he's still moving that way working his way to the front of the crowd well then that kind of puts the action on joel Dr. Kennedy's on his way. Sasha is broken. Harvey is dead. What are you going to do? Are there any, like, rooms or bathrooms or, like, even a hallway? Like, anything that doesn't, like, have massive amounts of people in it? You don't know. I mean, you are... You're in the midst of it. I mean, everybody's kind of, there's a crowd. The spotlight is still on you. Um, for just a moment, the MC is still there as, you know, with her hands out as if this was a grand display for everybody to see. Um, it literally is just a presentation right there in front of this crowd. As you scan around and are panicked trying to figure out exactly what it is you're going to do the MC does speak back to the crowd to turn their attention away from the show that is now starting to get a little bit boring and I don't want you to be bored my friends 
Let the dance continue. There is more excitement and fun to be had for all. And the music starts again, and then the, the lights go crazy. There's like a little bit, you know, like dance floor lights that are going, and, you know, the spots and strobes and everything gets a little bit wonky as far as lighting and vision goes. Joel, like, realizes there's nowhere to go and that people are starting to, like, not pay attention to what she's doing anymore. And so she bends down to Sasha, who's, like, still tripping balls. And I want to try and use a help action and, like, just pull him into, like, the biggest hug ever. And just like hold him and try and get him to come out of it. And she's of course crying too at this point. Does that do anything? Give me um yeah, give me an act under pressure. And here comes a Krista <laughs> pretty soon. Well, that should pop on roll 20. Mm -hmm. uh, better than a nine. 12. Only because a, an, a techni technically, per rules, a help would be you would be um, helping Sasha's role. Let's say Sasha was making a particular role, then you could jump in and say, I want to help. And then you would roll and then a modifier would be added to his role per se. Oh yeah, there's Krista the Barista coming in. So oh now Joel's camera's messed up a little bit. <laughs> so describe to me how Hello. how Joel would help Sasha. What are you gonna do to get Sasha out of his funk or to accomplish your help i mean she's gonna sit there and she's gonna hug him and she's just gonna start talking to him sasha you you got to pull it together sasha i know this is really hard um sasha come on please just stop just stop stop so it's just a verbal thing it's yeah i mean it's just over and over just like trying to comfort him and holding him So like a relation move instead of like a help action, I think. Maybe that's what I meant. Yeah, you may be right. I am fussing with the camera for just a moment. And I am also a novice with Cult Divinity Lost Rules for the most part. Mm. We're kind of learning this game as we've been going. Hey, we're 16 episodes in and, and we're a lot further along than we were when we first started this business. But you're absolutely right. It may be... A relationship type of move. well she she can use relationship to help me regain stability in a rule sense right um what is your relationship to sasha to it's a two the two mm -hmm. well if your intention is to help calm Sasha down, then that is the relation move. And that would actually give you um, two increased to your stability, Sasha. <clears throat> okay. Um, as Joel is, you know, holding me close and speaking into my ear, you know, over the din of the crowd and the music and uh you know sasha's eyes go wide for a second and he I, and he's just shaking his head i mean there's there's no words forming um but the smoke is gone and and he's just wide-eyed and staring at you and and he starts looking around and he's and he's <clears throat> he's trying to he's, he's he's not trying to escape you necessarily um but you can tell 
that while he's not as bad off as he was, um, he's still wildly um, and not necessarily understanding of what's going on or where he is at the moment. So she'll like, she's trying to keep a hold of you. So like maybe as you've started to kind of like shift and turn and move, she's moved back and she's got you maybe just by the shoulders. And she like is trying to get you to stare dead into her eyes. <clears throat> Sasha, we're gonna make them pay, okay? But I can't do that without you, okay? This is your fight too. And we're gonna fix it. I don't know how, but we're gonna fix this. You've got to trust me. Please. We've got to find something. Anything. But this is not over. And I can't do this with you freaking out. Okay? I need you. And he nods his head and he grabs hold of you and, and puts you in a hug just like you had him moments ago. All of this is happening in, in just a short amount of time and you are all still amidst the gore of Harvey that is right there. Now I believe, welcome, Blythe. Glad you could make it. Um, Muted. Hello. <laughs> hello. Um, because I know everybody who's watching is excited. I know you were probably interested yourself. The last time we saw Blythe as all of this destruction and mayhem ensued, Blythe was... She met somebody, sort of. Yeah. It was, uh, hi Blythe, it's Tom. Uh, uh, Tom? Yeah. From the, from the phone calls? Yeah. Yeah, I called you a couple times. Why? Well, <laughs> you know. No, I don't. Please explain to me. Who are you? Oh, um, I'm Tom. Okay, I, um, that. um, I think you're really cool, and um, there's, you know, um, I've been looking out for you and kind of keep an eye on things. It's kind of loud in here. Um, I, I've been keeping an eye on you. you. There's, you know, there's weird things that have been going on, and you're, you're important to the future. The future? What do you know about the future? <laughs> Blythe. You're so funny. <laughs> sure. You want to stop being so vague and, you know, actually oh. say something? Oh, I'm sorry. Am, am I being vague? I, a um, little. You're being a little vague, Tom. I, I thought... Well, you are young, I guess, a little bit. So, um, I thought you knew. Uh, you've got. Does there's... this what does this have to do with me being the queen? Oh, well, yeah. See, you know. Oh, okay. It's it's important that you get there because 
Well, you know, there's these things have been, there's, there's bad things happening. And if, um, if, you know, if we don't maintain some sort of balance and, and it's important, Blythe, and you're special <laughs> and you just get me so flustered and excited. I don't know what to do. Um, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm just a person. No, that's modest. Okay. Uh, everyone, everyone didn't want me to talk to you. Why? I don't know. I think they thought you were bad. Or Why? Something. Because you knew who we all were, and you know. Don't you know who everybody is? Yes, but how do you know us? I I know everybody. Don't how? you know everybody? No. What do you mean, everybody? How could I know everybody? Well, you know, not no, no, but, you know, um... You know, if you know you want to tune in to somebody, you just you just do it. Uh uh. I think that's that's just you, Tom. Uh well I you know, people always think I'm a little bit weird. Um did did you just see that? Uh yeah. Those, what, are, those are your friends. I mean, yeah, I saw. What's going on there? Do you know? <sighs> well, you know, your friend just stepped through the door, so I don't know what's going to happen to him, but, you know, the rest of them better. <sighs> you guys are being very risky coming here tonight. Do you know what you're doing? Absolutely not. We have no idea. <laughs> oh, Blythe, I know why you're here. I'm, why did everybody come with you? We were invited. You had thought an, it was... You've, you, you got like an actual invitation, invitation. Like a paper piece of... Like a real invitation, invitation? Yeah. Actual, literal, real life paper. Oh. <sighs> Listen, um, <laughs> you should probably go, like, uh, be with your friends. Wh what's it mean that we got a real invitation, Tom? Well... He pulls you in kind of close. It's a little bit loud. He doesn't want talking any louder than he has to. He has been talking louder than he than I have been talking, only because there's boom, 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 boom in the background. Um, an inv you guys were invited. This happens all the time, right? I, I, th I. Th I mean, I knew you were new, new, but I thought you knew that. So, um, I'm a little silly sometimes. Um, so since you were invited, mm -hmm. then, um, then that means everybody has something. It, it, it means you guys are, um, Spit it out, Tom. Well, it's conf it's confusing, Blythe. I'm sorry, but you're all important. And, you know, you've got your friends. I didn't realize they were all like, are they angels too? I'm sorry. You said two as in as well as in. Well, I'm just saying only the important people get invitations. 
I mean, everybody, it's, it's kind of an open invitation. You can just show up anytime, but like the people who like need to be here, be here, get invitations so that they're here. Well, we're now, here. I, I, you know, I, I obviously, uh, your one friend, I'm sorry. Apparently he had, that was an invitation. <laughs> um, is everything. I don't know. Do you owe anybody? Not that I know of. This makes me worry. Um, well, it's, you're probably okay. I know why you're, you don't know anything. That's why you're here. You're here to get your wings or something. So you don't know anything, but why uh, you're. F get, get my wings. Well, you know, figure speech. Oh. So where nothing bad is going to happen. <laughs> um, no, bad things are going to happen. <sighs> I mean, um, I mean, you just, you just, you just, you just, you just saw that, right? Y yeah. So, I mean, your friend's brains are all over the stage. Uh, the steps. Yeah. So is that going to happen to all of us? Um, probably not the exact same thing. But death? Well, <laughs> Blythe, what's death? When you die and you no longer exist. Well, I forget how young you are. This, listen, you're not going to be able to understand this. Here's what I want. You, here's what you need to do, okay? Because I can. You're. You need to go over to the statue. Okay. Of the angel. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll keep an eye on you. What do I do by the statue? Just go by the statue. Should I go check on my friends first? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you should go check on your friends. <laughs> you know. Okay. And then go by the statue. Yeah. 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 You need to go to the statue. And, um, 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 anybody that you don't know, don't tell them your name. Um, anybody, um, don't make, please don't agree with anybody you don't know. Don't make any deals. Don't tell them your name. Um, that's the best advice I can give you right now. Um, yes, you should probably go tend to your friends. Um, that one is going to be very upset. I, I can imagine. Okay. Uh, you'll be around. Tonight? Blythe. I'm always around. Okay. That's that's a little creepy, but okay. I get it. I get it. Uh, it was good talking to you face-to-face, -face, finally. Yeah, I'm excited to see you here. That was quite the surprise. Yeah. Uh... It was a surprise on my end as well. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over there now. I'll I'll talk to you later. Okay, Blythe. Be careful. Okay. okay. Re remember, okay. no name. No name. Got it. And she'll walk away and kind of like look over her shoulder back at him, and just shake her head. And then go find Ernie. <laughs> I believe Ernie has worked his way up to the front of the crowd where there is in front of him a terrible scene. Mm 
What do you do? Ernest. Okay. <laughs> and he just he looks over the corpse for a little bit. There's clearly nothing he can do. Even if he were to try to use that ability, he knows that it's not going to do anything. So there's a dance party raging around him, a dead body on a dais. Is the MC still around? The MC is um, sort of meandered to the middle of the stairs. Um, no longer the spotlight is on him. The scene has kind of moved down. You guys are all in sort of the limelight at the moment. And nobody's approaching me or anything? No, I, there's just Joel and Sasha that are there. They are both obviously upset. Joel is trying to console Sasha, I believe. Is there a tablecloth or anything nearby that I can cover the body with? Yes, there. there's tables that are relatively nearby that have got the white tablecloth um, on them that you can yank one of those off and use. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cover the body and then move towards Joel and Sasha. What's Joel oh, and you. Sasha doing? She's just like staring at Sasha trying to figure out what all is bodily wrong with him after his little spell. <laughs> So she's like talking to him, being like, okay, what, I mean, are you okay physically? Like what is wrong? There's blood everywhere. Yeah, there's just, I mean, there's just blood covering the entire front of Sasha. Um, and he's, and he, you know what I mean? He, he lets loose and is kind of, not staring through you, not ignoring you necessarily, but still, um, you know, trying to look around you and can't take his eyes away from Harvey and sees uh, Dr. Kennedy come out of the crowd and then, and then put the shroud over um, Harvey's body and Sasha's going to move that way. Still not saying a word. Joel's like behind you, still like talking to you, but she's like talking to your back and now she's starting to get a little like irritated. She's like, Sasha, stop. Seriously, you're like really hurt. What are you doing? There's nothing you can do. Um, I mean, I need to look at something. And that is... Sorry, I need to make a roll real quick. Go for it. Okay, that's all right. Nice roll. So I have overcome my obsession for the moment. And so with Joel, you know, asking me that question behind, um, I kind of stop and turn and and look at her and and i'm you know and i'm I'm like and i motion as if come with me um and i make my way to ernie she follows suit like kind of pissed but she's following um and i get close enough to ernie that he can see me um and Sasha is wide-eyed, um, I mean, and just blood is still coming out of his mouth. And he opens his mouth to Ernie. 
Good and God, Sasha, what did you do? God, is that his tongue? What's left of it? You can fix it though, right? I'll do what I can, I guess. I don't like do what you can, fix it. Sasha, come come here. And I take him by the face and I just like how did you even <clears throat> and I mean I know that that we've kind of worked a supernatural element into battlefield medicine I don't know how well it's gonna work but I'm gonna roll it anyway go for it it is exactly <laughs> oh. a nine <laughs> <laughs> it is not better than a nine. Oh, it is shit. not, in fact, better than a nine. No. What happens on a nine for Battlefield I Medicine? I stabilize the wound. Yep. Uh, but there are also unexpected and potentially dangerous consequences, such as infections, healing deformities, or other serious side effects. Oh, tongue the GM deformity. Makes a move. <laughs> oh, see no. an accent pulled out of Duke's ass. <laughs> I did. Um. <laughs> it wasn't my best improv idea. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So you go to fix Sasha's tongue. Um, now I'm I'm just curious. How bad, Sasha? Did you bite through your tongue? Oh. No, I don't pretty like fucking, that face. Pretty fucking bad. <laughs> it's the strongest muscle in your body. Ew. Um, okay. So, um... I mean, I don't know that it's all the way through, but, um... Ugh. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> my tongue feels weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my tongue is like... <laughs> I'm so glad it's attached. Everybody's kind of corralled around Sasha for the moment, trying to get him to calm down, trying to heal his tongue. Dr. Kennedy comes up and do your and you do your thing. What what does it look like, Dr. Kennedy, when you actually do your when you when you heal somebody? It's it's very subtle, but there's like a little just a really slight warm glow on the palms of his hands. I think I may have asked that before. If not, I'm sorry I waited till episode 16 to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Kennedy slips in a little heel on Sasha. I, I can see you being subtle in your work. Um, Sasha... The accumulation of everything has reached its toll. Joel, you watch Sasha's eyes sort of just kind of roll back in his head as Dr. Kennedy puts the heel on you. Now, Sasha, I will give you the, uh, the benefits of the heel, which is... Uh, does it, it didn't even say about harm. Well, what a, what's a ton by it was one harm. We'll say you get that back, but um, you pass out. Joel, Sasha just passed out. Harvey, Sasha passes out when you perform the heal. Did I say Har Joel? Harvey, not Harvey. Ernie. Ernie. I was like, oh. well, I, um, I was like, wait, whoa. whoa. <laughs> if, he just, if he just like, you know, uh, passes out, starts to dead drop, I'll, you know, try to hook my arms under his uh, uh, under his arms and, and keep him from falling all the way. Yeah, I think Joel as soon as he starts to fall back would move to try and catch him. And then immediately is on Ernie's ass. What the fuck did you just do? What did you do? I... Stopped the bleeding. Help me get him to a chair. I swear to God. If he is more hurt than... Oh, Ernie, this is not no, going to well for you. That's not physically possible, Miss Watson, so calm the hell down. 
Uh, Blythe runs and gets a chair. <laughs> <laughs> she just sidles <laughs> up with a chair, stuffs it under image, his butt. <laughs> the mental image of Blythe being like, oh, I'll get a chair. Like, <laughs> frolicking really away. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Pushes through the crowd, like, with this full chair, like, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I am a queen. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go sit by a statue, but also get this chair. <laughs> so you get Sasha settled for the moment. Sasha, you're still out. And... Um, We're going to go to Harvey. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Harvey, you are standing in the very chamber that you were in previously with the cube when you went down through the cube and into the big massive huge room with what you assume are those godlike peoples at the end how all of this started and um, behind you suddenly there is like a thud on the ground. He'll like take a moment to get his bearings and feel his head. Um, and yeah, if something fuds, he's going to jump a little bit and turn around and look at it. Just as you're absorbing all of this in, like, okay, you recognize where you're at and um, turn around to see what that noise was behind you. And uh, Sasha is laying like face first on the floor yeah he'll he'll get down immediately and like turn him over oh my god oh my god fuck what happened and and he gets down on his hands and knees and like picks him up and pulls him into his lap Sasha, you come to in, it's kind of a big, just this massive dark chamber. You don't really focus on that at the moment because you realize that you, your head is resting on Harvey's lap and he's waking you up. Um, a little meta, can I speak? Are my injuries still relevant <laughs> question. here? Because of the doctor's um, healing, you are able to use your tongue and speak. My my move is you have now slipped in with Harvey. So, yes, you can talk. Your tongue is fine. Oh my God, are you you're okay? Holy f holy fuck, you're okay. <sighs> are you? <sighs> Are you where, real? I. Where, where, Harvey? Where are we? I, I, I um. <clears throat> where, where is everyone? Where he did... kind of, he kind of like slips his hands under you to like help you sit up. And like he's just, he's ghostly pale, and he's just like feeling Sasha and like feeling his face and his hair and just like everything. Yeah, <laughs> he he grabs hold of your hands. He's like, um. Um, did I, did I die? Did I, you? Yeah. Fuck. Did, we. Oh, fuck, did I die? Oh, shit. Did you die? So, what did you do after? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 Harvey, I really have, Sorry. I don't, I don't know. I, 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 I saw her shoot you. Um, I, I came 
back. I blacked out for a little while and I came back and Joel was, um, Joel had her arms around me and, and there was, oh God, there was so much blood. And then I saw Ernie and then I woke up here. You tried to Where? shoot me. Did you, do you remember that? Sasha? You don't. I didn't want you, I didn't want you to have to do that to yourself again, okay? It's fine, it's fine. Fuck. I was we, trying to. We can talk about that, that later. I um, was trying, I was trying to help you. I was. I, You didn't have a choice, and I didn't think that you were going to be able to make that choice, and I knew that there was no other way for I me think, to get think, you out of there. I think I did when I when I told the accountant I made my choice. I think I'm sorry. I I don't want to I don't want to fight over this. We we should we should figure this out. Can we? We'll talk about this later, okay? I'm sorry. And and he stands up and he holds out a hand to help you to your feet too. Immediately grabs your hand and stands up. And continues holding your hand. And is just looking around the room. Hey. I think. That's what? the. That's the. What is. Isn't this the cube? Yeah, yeah. Have it's... we been here? This isn't. Where is this? It's where the Archons live. I think. What are we see around us besides that cube, Curtis? It is just this massive, darkened chamber. There's a little bit of just some light from unknown sources that kind of illuminate it, but it's huge. There are thrones at the far end that are probably the size of buildings and the chamber is sort of um, structured like you were on the inside of a, a rib cage, as far as so this doesn't this doesn't look anything like the room that no we were just in no nothing and uh-huh. there are no people here. Is there anyone sitting on the thrones? Yes, there are these dark sort of humanoid creatures that are sitting on the thrones. You can't really see, they appear humanoid, but you can't really see any features. They're quite a distance from you. Harvey just, he kind of freezes at the change and gets even more pale if it's possible and like squeezes Sasha's hand. Okay. Okay. Um, um see any doors? Should we talk to them? Are we dead? I don't, I'm guessing so. I don't fucking know. I, Last I remember, I was in a crowd of people, and there's this crazy. Well, yeah. If you're, I mean, I master of ceremonies, <laughs> and you were <laughs> losing your mind again, and I, I think, I think we are. I think we're dead. I'm sure. I'm sure that we are. I, if you're dead, and this is where you came, and I came with you, then I. I'm, must also be dead. How fucking weird. Is it selfish to say I'm I'm glad you're here? <laughs> no. Maybe. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it sucks. Um just Come on, let's stay I mean shit, me what do you do when you're dead? Do you just I don't know, talk to the fuck asses over there on the throne? <clears throat> they probably hear us. That was ominous. Okay, um, Tasha, just, um, 
Julius Winston. It's Harvey. Mm. Harvey. You have been a very important person for me. Thank you. I apologize that your fame and fortune were short-lived. Things happened much faster than ever anticipated. Apologize, but you will be rewarded for your sacrifices. Okay. You have played a very important part in my game. that sit next to me. <laughs> you have done me well, Harvey Winston. I see. The broken has found his way in. I'm nobody's fucking pawn. Just broken. <laughs> That's okay, then. Harvey, to repay you for your short end of the stick. I'm sending you back. Uh, again? What about... <clears throat> and Sasha? No. Oh. <laughs> He's not mine. <sighs> but... He's okay. Not Ooh. dead. <gasps> Wait, wait, okay. Sorry. I thought this was all, all Mal... Mal... Have you pronounced Malkuth now? Malkuth. Malkuth, okay. <laughs> like, I I thought this was all, all, all Malkuth. Who are, who are Do you? Do not speak my name. Well, I'm sorry it's a little confusing when you show up as different things. <sighs> okay, what 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 more do you want from me? What there's, there's got to be a cost to this. There's always a cost. The cost. Oh, oh yeah. There's all yes. Because I, I want to know what bullshit you're going to drag me into next. You're dead, Harvey. It's five lives. Yours, or someone else's. But five lives will be paid to me. Or you can accomplish what you were destined. You can help me tear down. 
down the veil. I, I thought I already did that. I thought <clears throat> the cube. That was a cube. A part. A key. <sighs> My game has many moves. And no time limit. Fine. Fine, just... Just give me back. Please. Scientist. Ernie? You will... You will need to... Stop him. Okay, stop him how? Are you saying I... There is... A doll. She's to be an angel. I don't... Uh... You must stop her. Who? A, 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 a doll, an angel? What? And... The Avenger. She has already taken one. She is going to try to take another, and you must stop her. How? How are you? I'm not going to kill my friends. Of course not. It's not necessary, although the sacrifice would significantly diminish your debt to me. I mean... Fuck. I feel crazy right now. Like, Ernie, maybe, but... Uh, Joel, what? Mm. Stop, stop. What, what, what? Okay. What am I... Stopping them from doing. Exactly. Prevent them from accomplishing their tasks. Everyone is at my party. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, I'll... I'll try. I'll try. You'll have to do better than try, Harvey. Well, I don't... Fine! <laughs> I'll do it! Now it makes sense as to why this broken has stumbled in. <laughs> oh, the, the other Archons are so clever. What does that mean? Huh? Do you speak? It means, dear, you are not mine. I don't own you yet. But I But I said, right. I said yes to you, so... Uh, so it's all a lie? Is that... No, it appears... I was... foiled. There is a... one of the others that had you before. 
my mistake. I... Had me? I... Did you, did you make a deal? Did... No! No! No, the... the, the... If you help Harvey accomplish his goals for me, then I will assume your debts. I don't know anybody. With you for years, Sasha. Harvey, still holding Sasha's hand, he reaches out with his other hand and grabs Sasha's arm and pulls up the sleeve and looks at the tattoo and kind of just like makes a wild gesture and looks at Sasha. Where, where did you get this? This, 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 where the shadows come from? Sash, you just, you just had it one day. You never, you never. Sasha? I, uh... <laughs> I came back, came back from the other side and my arm just read, must not sleep, must warn others. gotta be it the shadows that <clears throat> thing that comes out of you that's who is it fix this who is it if you know tell me who Come on, come on. And Sasha takes off and he starts running to the, towards the closest wall and he is just looking for a way to get out of here. Harvey, very confused, <laughs> will we'll follow him. Sasha, when you start to run, you are like in a dream world and your runs your steps take you nowhere I want you to what do I want you to do I want you to roll me keep it together because you were getting angry Better than a nine. It is better than a nine. Very slightly. <laughs> Just a smidge. Where'd my... I have to pee so bad. Go pee. Okay, I take like 15 seconds. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> okay. 
If I'm angry, that's minus one stability, I assume. Which, thank you, Joel, for being a plus two. Mwah, I love you. Because <laughs> it means that I'm not broken again. I'm just unhinged. Why so Sinatra so starts yeah. screaming and <laughs> you know is is erratically trying to get <clears throat> somewhere and just keeps reappearing at this same place and he's you know what i mean this is never this hasn't been an issue for sasha for quite some time he's always been able to escape <clears throat> um and so can i sweat here i don't even know if i can sweat here <laughs> um and i mean the panic and it's it's palpable and i you know he, he he can't keep focused on anything. It's, it's, he's constantly trying to escape. As you keep doing this, you hear that laugh that you heard earlier when he would chuckle at you. Um, and your vision, your peripherals blurs <laughs> a little bit. And, um, <laughs> when you finally decide all right you take a moment like i'm going to regroup for just half a second before i do something else and you look up for a second and you see you there is another sasha standing five feet in front of you and he looks pissed am i here am i there <laughs> you see sasha you don't see Beta Sasha. <laughs> Beta. Nega Sasha. Shadow <laughs> Sasha. Um, so looks aggressive towards me as if he's going to do something to me. He looks like you are about to kick your ass. What do you do? Um, that's a great question. Is so is he is he is Nega Sasha attacking me or just menacing toward me? Just menacing toward you. Okay, well I'm unhinged at this point, so um I'm gonna I'm gonna roll inner power. Roll it. <laughs> hey! Woo 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 woo! Bing 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 bing! Um so that's so Sasha leans forward and and you know what I mean stretches his arms out and the the tendrils of smoke burst uh from him and slam into Nega Sasha uh causing two harm. Yeah, so he flies back um several feet and comes through and you feel this wave of energy crash over you and pain racks your body for just a moment and you don't fly back like he did but you sense that you feel hmm that's what that feels like is kind of what goes through your mind Okay, um, so after that uh, attack on Nega Sasha, um, I want to use one of my six cents, um, and I want to discover whether Nega Sasha wishes good or ill towards me. Kirby's definitely confused. <laughs> he wants to kill you. And um, yeah, Sasha screams out, what is it that you want? You hear, to... you hear him say that, Harvey, but he's like looking off to some space right in front of him that you cannot see. Sasha, there's no one there. There's no one there. Like, let's just... I'm gonna kill you. It's what I'm gonna do. 
is what he replies back. Uh, yeah, gonna... Harvey just takes a couple steps back. Sasha's gonna... Um, this is the thing that has always done the most, so Sasha is going to unleash Contagious Insanity. Um, on a 14. Get one option. Uh, is Nega Sasha considered an NPC or no? Yes. Then um, I'm going to do to Nega Sasha what I did to Blythe and afflict him with temporary psychosis and haunt them with their own fears. <laughs> Beautiful. Describe this for me, what you do. Um, Sasha's eyes go white and then cloud over with that smoke. Um, and the, the Nega Sasha, like the smoke clears from my eyes and um, takes over the, the eyes of the Nega Sasha and his eyes go clear and then fill with smoke. Um, I assume that since <laughs> this is me, that you want me to describe what it is that this Sasha goes through. Um, yeah. What the, give me the, give me the psychosis. Um, you see a boy. He's 12, maybe 13 years old. And um, there's, he's in a filthy room of some sort, like a very small, you would assume it's a bedroom. Um, no bed. Um, there's just like a pile of clothes on the floor that it looks like he sleeps in. And um, you hear an adult man in the other room and you can't really hear what he's saying. Um, and then two adult men appear in the doorway. And one of them is wearing jeans, barefoot, no shirt. Not morbidly obese but extremely overweight and he's smoking a cigarette and looks like he hasn't shaved in five or six days and he reeks of an ashtray and cheap beer and he gives the other guy a motion like that the other man walks into the room and closes the door and comes towards Sasha and starts undressing. Yikes. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> um, Meanwhile, back at the ranch. I'm just curious um, what the other three are doing at the moment. Harvey's dead. Sasha is passed out. All attempts to revive do not work. He seems to be pale. Uh, Doc, if you get down and check him his um pulse is elevated but not not to the point that you think he needs to be like rushed off or anything like that um but um 
he's not coming to Blythe, you probably have worked your way up to the scene at this point as well. And Joel would be like yelling at Ernie. What's wrong with him? Can you fix him? What the hell is wrong with him? He's he's alive. He's breathing. His pulse is elevated, but he is more or less fine. He he. It's just taking him a minute to wake up. Fine. You think he's fine? He just saw the love of his life get shot in the goddamn head. And then he bites off his own fucking tongue almost. And now he's passed out in a goddamn chair. And you're saying, oh, he's relatively fine? Relatively being the key term here. Well, then what can you do? Can you fix it? I don't have smelling salts on me uh, at the moment. Um... Would just regular salt help? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> uh, no, child, no. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, the best we can do is keep an eye on him until he comes around. Uh, and we'll that's not for another two hours. Well, at least that would keep us from getting shot in the face like Mr. Winston over there. Let's... We'll take him upstairs. They said there were, were rooms upstairs, right? <laughs> According to Bly, those are not the kind of rooms you want to inhabit. Oh, I mean, what he does on his own time is up to him. Gross. I just... I want to get him away from the rest of these people fine hook an arm let's go okay I'll watch <laughs> as you guys are um, picking Sasha up there is this big guy um, a man um, kind of in a suit but he is a large, large man, um, probably six and a half feet tall, like 325, 350 pounds. Um, not like fat, fat, but he's a lot of muscle, just this big, huge hands, um, just kind of scarred up face, not very pretty. Doesn't say anything, but as you guys are, are uh, dealing with Sasha and deciding to hook him up and take him up to the room, this guy kind of just steps out from nowhere and um goes to um scoop up harvey's body you guys can continue on with what you were doing i just wanted to let you know that somebody came by to get harvey's body what are they doing with his body probably converting it into the food at the buffet for all we know good What's the point of asking that question here you of all places? Just ate so much of that food. Why would you say that? That's worst case scenario, child. Because it's his goddamn body and it's not right. Well, then have the fine gentleman bring it along with us. Why not? No, fucking worry about it later. Let's go. Let's just get him out of here. I haven't been upstairs. Someone else lead the way. Why do you lead? We'll grab Sasha. Okie dokie. And she <laughs> marches up the stairs and she's kind of like her head's on a swivel more than normal. And like she's on the lookout for something or someone. But she'll lead them upstairs and I suppose just pick a room at random. That's not the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> not that one. Actually, we I, know 
You yeah. know that one. When you guys get to the top of the stairs and you got Har- or, uh, Sasha's body, um, body, as you got Sasha and are um, like trying to put him someplace safe, when you get to the top, you see one of those um, guys that you assumed was like security of some sort because of the, you know, dressed in a suit, kind of got that secret service look. And, um, when you get up to the stairs and you're kind of scanning around, you notice over here to the right, several doors down, one of those guys sort of steps out and opens the door as if like, oh, here, this is your room. I suppose this is our room. Can we trust that? Of course not. We can't trust literally anything that anyone says or does in this entire place. Okay, well, the rhetorical part of the question... you guys have any better question, ideas? The rhetorical part of the question is, what next? Do we choose the door? Or do we go find our own door? Let's None just go in the door. door. Let's just go in the door, yes. <sighs> Sasha needs to lay off the fucking Waffle House. He weighs a shit ton. <laughs> He's a stick we figure can, of a man. We can discuss that later. Joel, Joel I have to tell you something. <laughs> God, what now? It's not another tampon thing, is it? No, it's not. I mean, I mean, it could be. Do you need one now? No, I don't. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Sasha uh, first. Sasha first. Can it wait? Well, I have to go do something. Um, uh, mm, are we talking about like a bathroom thing? And it's that no, weird girl thing where they have to go together. Not. I don't. I don't. No, it's uh, I gotta go. I gotta go stand by a statue. What? Yeah. You gotta go stand by a statue. I met Tom. What? Uh, hmm. Who? Wait. Tom. Who, who the, is Tom again? The creeper on the phone. Uh, he seemed actually really nice. Okay, well, this, he was okay. kind of sweet. But it, creeper on the phone does not imply safe, nor does it imply trusting. Okay. It was different. You know, everyone, everyone told me, you know, to watch out and not talk to him, but he he's he's a nice guy i think i think he's really looking out for me he said he was he said he knew us he said he, he's watch he's i think he's a good guy okay so what and he told me statue do uh make me an angel i'm sorry did you hit your head somewhere no. along the- no I mean, I have this mask, but that's not doing anything to my brain. I think it needs none to go. of you listen to a word I have said the entire time we've been here. You cannot trust anything that anyone says or anything you see while we are here. So we're supposed to trust you? I'm at least real. Are you sure? Like ninety eight percent sure. <laughs> no, there's a lot of uh, skeletons in your closet, so. Or in your basement. Well, I mean, that's what the furnace is for. Yikes! Um, so you guys got Sasha, yeah? You're yeah. not going down there by yourself. Uh, I am. No, 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 no. At least let me go with you. Uh, Leave the old dude up here. I think. I. I think you would be better if Sasha woke up and it was you here as well as Ernie. No offense. You're not wrong. But I, I, I don't want you going downstairs by yourself either. I mean, what, what's the worst that can happen? You could be literally murdered. Did by you not see literally what happened, anyone in this entire building. Uh, I'm... I'm going downstairs. I'm standing by a statue. I'm not going to make a, st- a scene. I'm not going to yell at the top of my lungs. Will you please take one of us with you? I will be s- I will be so stealthy and sneaky 
I just gotta I just gotta see your repertoire. You're in a red fucking dress for God's sakes. Yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it? Why is not the point? Still, anyway. A tiny 16-year-old girl in a bright red dress in a party populated exclusively by the worst, most heinous monsters on the planet. Okay, but here's the thing. I have a mask on and no one knows who I am. Just like how you put on a pair of sunglasses or a pair of glasses and suddenly no one knows who Superman is. It's bullshit. Clark Kent. Heard of that well, guy. looky there. You know who he is. It's not going to work for you either. It, you please? It'll be please. fine. Just stay up here. Wait till Sasha wakes up. Ernie, you obviously have to be here with him. Joel, I, he's going to want to see you more than he wants to see me or Ernie. So it's obviously that you have to stay up here. I'm going to go back down there. Ernie, estimated time on when Sasha's even going to wake up. I don't know. The sooner the better. We don't want his brain to shut down. Well, can, happen. can you guys try to wake him up? We've already tried. Nothing works. I don't have an adrenaline shot and I don't have smelling salts. There's nothing I can do at the moment. We just have to wait for him to come around. Can you punch him? Dr. Kennedy, do you I have... slapped him a little earlier. It didn't help. <laughs> I... It's a daily occurrence for me. Um, <clears throat> Dr. Kennedy, in your lab, do you have those items? Yeah, of course. In your, in your lab at home. All right. So when you guys, I, I'm assuming you're having this conversation as you were heading down towards the open door. Yeah, probably. Yeah. When you get to the door, Dr. Kennedy, and start to walk in, you realize this room is your laboratory. And when, all, shit. and when all three of you step through, the door closes behind you. Oh, what? Oh, uh, what the fuck? Where are we? This isn't like the rooms I've seen. Uh, well, it's that's because it's mine. What? I'm sorry, what? That's a weird kink. Wait, yeah, it, <sighs> you saw this room live. You came downstairs. When we threw the lady in the furnace. Yes. Lady in a furnace? What the fuck? It was a uh, Harvey's ex-girlfriend, I think. Allegedly. Allegedly, yes. Why did you throw Harvey's ex-girlfriend in the furnace? Uh, she was dead. She'd been slashed to ribbons, and then she came back to life and attacked me. What the fuck? Now you're saying zombies? Are you people smoking crack? What the fuck have I missed? It's it's been a long week. God, has it even been a week? I don't think so. I don't know. What day is it? I have no idea. Uh, Any anyway, that uh, put put him on uh, the table. I've got uh, supplies. How do you know you have supplies? This is a magical room that if just appeared. Th- if this is actually my lab, I have supplies. And I know where they are, so I'm obviously going to look there first. Put Perfect. it on the table. So since you have this under control, I'm going yeah. to go back downstairs, out of this magical room. And well, the, the door shut statue. on itself, so good luck. It, if it opens, I suppose. Well, she marches over to the door and she tries to open it. <laughs> Curtis? <laughs> you guys crack me up. Um, yes, you can open it. As a matter of fact, when you do open it, the um, great big huge muscly guy with the body of dead Harvey is in his arms. Blood, oh, hello. blood drip, drip, drip from Harvey's head. And he goes, Do you want this body? Uh, darling, would you be so kind to put that body on the table over there, please? Well, how about the counter for now? We need the table for Har- uh, for Sasha. You don't have multiple tables in here? No. 
Well, that's, that's what the weird. counter Murder. space is for. Okay. He kind of ducks his head through the door and comes through and goes over and lays the Harvey's little body on the counter. This is so fucking strange. Mm, thank you, my gigantic friend. He doesn't say anything, but he leaves. I ordered pizza. <laughs> A while, Steve. <laughs> I'll take Good God, pizza. shut the door. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to go now. Blythe, can you wait oh. for literally two minutes while I oh, wake God. Sasha up? Then at least someone can keep an eye on you and make sure you don't get uh, absconded with or murdered or... I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. You know, it how many times have you said that and you weren't fine and then you were so happy that somebody came to save your ass. So while we are talking, I am going to where I would keep that stuff. I'm pulling out uh, an adrenaline shot uh, first. I'm, I'm gathering my supplies uh, to try to wake him up. Very good. Perhaps Tom will save me. <laughs> Yeah, if I need I, to be saved, I, which I, I don't. Uh, Tom has always yeah. sounded like the sort of person that would wear your skin before he would do anything else. You know, he sounds like that on the phone, but in person, I didn't get that vibe. Might I remind you the last time that you just disappeared off the face of the earth? You woke up and were in hooks. A fair point, Miss Watson. A fair point. And the point. last time we split up. Harvey ended up with his brains blown out laying over there. Now, I don't know about you, but that kind of pisses me off and makes me a little suspicious. So, Blythe, could you please, for the love of God, take someone with you? Do the At this thing point, Sasha. See if it works. Adrenaline shot straight into the chest. Uma Thurman, John Travolta. <laughs> Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Eric Stoltz. <laughs> Sharpie Dot. Yes. A fucking Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is perfect. And that is a perfect spot to take a break. Um, I know everybody's probably already <laughs> peeled off and gone and made their little tinkles uh, because we've gone a little bit long. Um, but this is the moment where we can run our special little our announcement. It's not really an announcement. It's a little teaser trailer for a new show um, that these fine players have all agreed to join up and play after Manhattan. This group is going into another cult game, um, cult of Infinity lost. We love that, but it is a new group of people, a new scenario. And um, yeah, so we're going to run that now and we'll be back in just a few. So have fun. All right. You guys are clear. The trailer is running. Woohoo! Yes, we are going live right now, and um, <laughs> I will say, oh, uh, we are muted. So, oh. ass. No fruit, no <laughs> fish. Our bunnies will go. Just ass. <laughs> now you're not muted. No. Oh. Put some fruit on your ass. No. Some fish on nope. your ass. Nine. Nine. No ass on your Best pizza. Played ass. <laughs> that <laughs> that I'm down for. Hey, okay. <laughs> oh, the conversations we have. You know, oh, you know. <laughs> Peaches? They might look like ass. <laughs> Not, ass. Not on pizza. Not ass. <laughs> Not on a pizza. 
<laughs> Everybody appreciates a good ham steak. <laughs> anyway, Twitch, Chris likes ass. Let's continue with the stream. Um, I'm gonna say that one more time. Yeah. All right. So we're back. <laughs> On that note. Yes. <laughs> we embarrassed him enough. We're back. I probably won't edit Just this part out. <laughs> Immortalized forever. And um, I will, we, everybody got to see the, uh, well, I hope everybody got to see, I should have run it again as I was coming back. I didn't even think about it. Maybe I'll run it again at the end when I give my other announcement, just for fun. The uh, little teaser. It's hardly a teaser. It's more of a cast list, um, <laughs> which you guys already know because they're all on the screen in front of you. Um, but yeah, everybody on this group, our next, let me turn this music down so people can hear. Okay. Jeez. Um, yeah, our next big adventure with our, my cult group of, uh, TTRP will be Long Strange Trip 72. And these guys have been working on their characters and it is a crazy setting and it's going to be creepy and crazy and weird and spooky, um, hopefully and all that good stuff as cult is so we are excited about that and i think they're all excited about it too so i don't know erica's got a big shitting grin on right now so I, there's <laughs> a kitten and it's so oh, cute oh, and i can't the get over cat. it yes <laughs> i mean i'm so. excited too but there's an adorable kitten that i'm staring at and all i right. can't get over it forget it Let's forget long kitten. strange trip forget the cat let's go back to the dying of these five people Well, Mute has sir. yet to actually. <laughs> that was a lot. Mute has yet to actually make fire. his appearance Sean in tonight's episode. Died twice. The others, they're doing great. Yeah, I know. Harvey's been. Yes. Oh yeah, no... Sasha's tip top. <laughs> tip top shape. <laughs> no mute. What did you say this name of this cat was? Uh, I, I have haven't one. fully decided, uh -oh. but I'm still thinking Jane Klonda. <laughs> She seems very happy. Is Mew put out because you have a new <laughs> kitty? No, he wants to make friends, and she's not. Uh, she's not quite there yet. She's not quite friendly. As long as you keep her on your lap, you've what got a, a Mew Jackman wall. <laughs> well, she'll just hiss at him until he goes away. <laughs> so, um, all right, then back to our group. Joel was about to let Blythe leave the room. Oh no 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 no! That bitch let is going leave. anywhere by herself. Oh, you going? Are you going to go with her? Oh yeah, unless Ernie gets Sasha woke up like real quick. Well, I did, you know, the Pulp Fiction thing. So. Oh yeah, you stabbed him in the chest with a. Adrenaline. That's right. That's right. You did the old kapunk, <laughs> and um. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> that, <laughs> that might be enough to bring um, Sasha out. Are you guys going to hang around to see if it works? Well, they were in mid-conversation, so... <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, I was like, this is the perfect <laughs> time. They're in the middle of... Joel is in the middle of distracting Blythe from walking out that door, so... <laughs> Stalling. <laughs> Well, Harvey's dead body just waltzed in, right. so that's really what stopped me. Not Joel. Okay, well, <laughs> she's still honest. working on you. <laughs> <laughs> and with the shot, Sasha, you are going to zip out of your world with Harvey. And you... um. It's not like waking up, though. It's more of a, one of those vortex funnel time, like a, kind of like a Star Trek, like a warp thing that you travel through for just a second. Um, not quite as dramatic as Star Trek, but um, you you sort of flash through it, blinding burst of light, and then <gasps> you wake up and you're in 
Dr. Ernest Kennedy's laboratory, which is a bit of a shock considering where you've been, and I want you to keep it together. <sighs> no. Well, let's see how this goes. And since I am that, I am at a minus three to my keep it together. Um, no! Precisely oh, a nine. Oh my god. <laughs> Sasha, when you come through, you are right back I mean f f to you you are right back in the same shit that started everything you are back on the table in Dr. Kennedy's lab and I'm just oh, yeah. lagging behind that. Much, are we I like? Guess. Are we like down? Down? Oh no! It says live now. We should be back. Oh, I think we're back. Are we? Stop that. Yeah. I, I was scared. Yes, we're back. Okay. S sorry about that. Slight disconnect issue. I don't know what that was. Everything was good on my end, so it was probably just one of those little weird Twitch things. Um, it happens. I see it happen on other people's streams all the time. However, I will say that our Friday night has seemed to be plagued with this from time to time. It seems like we always get a disconnect. Um, where were we? Uh, Sasha had just uh, yes. rolled keep it together and um, you, you did didn't. not do better than a nine. No. So, yeah. Um, I, I assume Sasha probably starts flipping out a little bit. Well, I mean, as a as broken, I you know I have to turn it over to you, kind of. Um, I made the mistake of uh, biting my tongue off last time, so um, <laughs> if, if you it. want to, you know, maybe. So, Doctor Kennedy, Sasha comes through and he sees you in just this wide-eyed stare, and. Um, you probably sense an oh shit moment. And he um, starts to freak out. I really should have strapped him down. Maybe Damn. smelling salts instead of the adrenaline punch? I don't know. You did say you had them. <laughs> he just went straight for the shot to the heart. Because <laughs> fuck it, I'm Dr. Kennedy. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> just like biting off your tongue seems like a good <laughs> I uh, uh, take a step back. <laughs> Joel goes flying forward. Sasha, 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 are you okay? So I will say this. If somebody will need to... Um, well, let me, let me, I, I'm going to say somebody needs to restrain Sasha or at least get on him pretty quick I was, because I, I would imagine, and Sasha can correct me, that when he is pinned down in the worst of situations, he may panic and erupt and be like, get the fuck off me and what the fuck's going on and start thrashing and punching. Oh, more often than not, it turns to self-harm. Like they've all seen it, um, you know. It's it's me digging at my face and at my eyes and <laughs> biting your own tongue off. <sighs> tongue off. <clears throat> so yeah, Sasha starts to go nuts, <clears throat> and he's looking around and screaming, "No, not again! Not again! Not again!" And and th thrashing and tearing at himself like some medieval woman who's just lost her son in battle and just 
wailing and thrashing and no, 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 because his world was crumbling. Joel is running and screaming at him and trying to get over to him to get his hands at least like locked behind his back or at least get him in like a headlock or something to try and restrain him. And she's talking to him at the same time. Roll act under pressure. <laughs> is a nine. What the hell? Did you roll? There have been yeah. too many nines today. Nine. Oh, I didn't even see it come up. It's exactly a nine. nine. I didn't see I it. I haven't either. seen it either. Um, it's on my screen. Oh, there it is. I know. Hang on. You. I'll refresh, see if that helps. It doesn't, but oh well. Anybody who claims a nine <laughs> gets the nine. <laughs> I'm staring at it. I'm not bullshitting you. It's a nine. I'm not happy about it. And you you were you were trying to restrain him? Yeah. All right. So in his um thrashing, um you 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 don't um restrain him. As a matter of fact, he kind of thrashes and like kind of like jumps up out of his thing and in the process you um take like a backhand to the face. What a bitch. Not intentional. He's just he's starting to flip out. Right. Um Dr. Hennedy, what are you gonna do? Blythe, did, or not Blythe, Joel tried to do something. She she can't seem to get control of Sasha at the moment. Uh, Let's see. So I would have been like right there when he jumped to life. I took a step back. Joel moved in. So... I'm going to circle around then to the head of the table and try grabbing him by the shoulders and pulling him down so that she can get a better angle. Give me a act under pressure. Better than a nine. That is better than a nine. That is. I'm always losing my little list. Um, you guys are all, Joel, you, you're going to, you, it just takes a moment. You're stunned for a moment from taking a little smack. You realize it's just in the thrashing of the moment. He wasn't like trying to hurt you or anything like that. He's, he's, he's panicking and freaking out. Um, you both get him calm for just a moment um, and have got him on the table. And um, Blythe, are you helping them out in this? Or are you just kind of watching? Um uh or are you Don't gonna you slip out or do what? Don't I'll... you fucking dare. <laughs> no, no. I'll get the feet. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, it's fine. So you all start to wrestle Sasha down. He starts to calm down some, but you can tell on his face that he is not all with it. Um, is still in a moment. And we are going to um, cut briefly back to Harvey, who you were just having that moment with Sasha, and then he literally just sort of disappears, just like out from in front of you. Uh, yeah, on that, like, Harvey just he screams and he starts just, like, at the top of his songs, like, no! And, like, 
trying to go around and looking around wildly for wherever Sasha went at all. And he's just saying no, like over and over again. And he's he's lost. He doesn't know how to get out of this. Sasha, roll inner power for me. Harvey, as you start to freak out, you hear that same chuckle of the voice that was conversing with you that you assume is Malkuth. I told you not to speak a name, so I assume that that's who it is. And you hear that chuckle, you're freaking out. Um... And then your world goes black. And then you come to and you are laying on the counter in what appears to be a laboratory. Your head hurts. <clears throat> your body hurts. Um, you have a headache like you have been partying for days. Um, and it's, well, it feels like somebody shot you in the head. And so it, it hurts. Um, that's kind of the headache that you have and you're on the counter. But the one thing that occurs to you is I'm alive. Again. Yeah, he, he kind of takes like this very sharp intake of breath and he bursts up into a sitting position and, and yanks bang the your sheet head off. on the cabinets above you. <laughs> Wait, is, he's in a cabinet? I thought no. he was on the counter. But he's you're on oh. the counter and the well, cabinets yes. are like right above you. <laughs> he shoots right up and he bangs his head on the cabinets above him and hurts his head even more. Sorry, so you just, but you just hear like you hear him go <gasps> boom. <laughs> he's like, oh, fuck. And he's just like reaching up and he's cradling his head. <clears throat> and doesn't even have time to like look around and process what's going on because he just banged his damn head on the <laughs> cabinet, apparently. <laughs> Sorry, I have a very specific mental picture of my lab. Well, thank you for that. It's real unfortunate. Poor Harvey's going to have a big old head bruise. Oh my God. I like Bit that. Bit of an egg. That's good. You anyway. know, yeah. getting the head bumps is actually not bad. I will have to say that this is a complete segue from what we're doing. But one of my favorite horror movies, because I, wa I watched it when I was a teenager, was... Uh, <laughs> I guess I was a little older and changed, or maybe my twenty or something. Um, Pet Cemetery, the original Pet Cemetery, not the remake. Um, and um, there was the scene when the dad, um, it was like halfway through or something, when all the shit started happening, and he was asleep on his bed, but the alarm went off or something, and he wakes up and like falls out of bed and smacks his head <clears throat> on the uh, nightstand next to the bed. Does anybody remember that scene? Yes, oh, I never you, saw that. you should check it out because it's one of those scenes. It's just a horror movie, but it's like it's almost like a jump scare. Like this, this guy like jumps out of bed because he's like, "Oh, I'm asleep. I need to get up and do shit because my world's falling apart." But then he like falls out of bed, and like smacks his head on the yeah. nightstand on the way down, and I was like, "Oh." This is this is something anyway. like that. Like he'll he'll jerk up with that sharp intake, smack his head on the cabinet yell out an expletive and just kind of like stumble <laughs> and very slowly like fall over the edge of the counter and onto the floor and then he yells out another expletive and he's just like <laughs> cradling his head is the sheet still like over you and now you're just like a moving like sheet ghost or he, like pulled it off of his head <laughs> but he's definitely tangled in it okay and, and uh, blood um you still got blood you've actually still got like chunks of yourself you know like stuck to the side of your head um joel and dr kennedy as you are trying to wrestle sasha down 
and deal with his flailing about, um, there is, uh, what is it, Sasha, like this burst of energy that comes out of you from your inner power? Yeah, just the the tendrils of smoke just smash into both of them, um, pushing them off of me. Yeah, so both Joel and Dr. Kennedy get thrown away from Sasha, whether you land on your butts or get tossed up against a counter or something like that um, is up to you, but um, you both take two harm. He tosses you. You get thrown. With a force. And, and Harvey, you sense that too. It's, it almost happens at the, simultaneously from the moment that, that you wake up and you jump down, smack your head, and you're in this just excruciating pain and um, everything's going nuts. And then suddenly you feel this wave um, as well. You see Joel and Dr. Kennedy, they go on their ass. Um, you kind of get pushed back, although it doesn't give you any harm. Um, it does kind of throw you back as well. And um, Blythe, you take two points as well because you were also in the room up close to and you get thrown back and pushed too. <clears throat> I and get, I take none. <laughs> that's right, because you're fucking kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm OP, bitch. Anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, I will gasp and notice that Harvey is now on the ground moving around and I'll probably kneel down and uh, untangle the sheet. He's like, he, he has, got, he's got to take a moment. He's like trying to get out of the sheet also and his head fucking hurts. And where am I? And oh, hi, Blythe. <laughs> and so he like, all this goes through his mind and he kind of squints at her and mumbles a thank you for the sheets and he's he's trying to look around and like blink multiple times to try to get his bearing and um i'm guessing is he able to see sasha from where he's at you do see sasha sasha you see harvey as you thrash, you turn your head, you look, you see, you both see each other. Harvey, you feel different. You don't feel like you. As a matter of fact, when you see the just the whole atmosphere, everything in this room, you feel an energy about you. And for just a split second, when you kind of caught everybody that got forced back and thrown and landed on their asses because all of just for story purposes, all of this happened in just a matter of just a few seconds. Um, you almost think that you were the cause of it. That's how you feel right now. Like you come through and you're like, Oh shit, what did I do to these people? <laughs> oh man. Okay. So he, he thinks it was him, and he didn't. He didn't like see the shadows or anything. No, there's no shadows. Did yeah. I say? Sh oh well, because well, I, I, I think like she means the. Thing. Oh, the yeah the. Um, well, you were tied up in the sheet. Yeah, yeah, you may you may see some remnants of it or something, but my point is, everything happens, and because of your confusion, and because of you sense this inner power within you. Mm -hmm. You you feel different than you felt before you died. And it almost feels good and uncontrollable. And because of all of this happening at the same time, you do notice his tendrils of smoke and stuff. But because of all of it happening, you think for half a split second that this could possibly have been your fault. Okay. Yeah, he'll 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 I'll definitely take that in. Um, and he's kind of blinking at Blythe more than anyone else. Like he notices Sasha and everyone else in the room, but she's like the closest thing to him. And he kind of reaches out for her. Yeah. She'll, she'll go to him and she'll like put her hands on his face and just stare and just looking into his eyes. 
like tr- trying to figure out and if he's if he, this is real are you are you you were you were dead yeah 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 I, are you real are you alive what is um, this what's are you what's, back what was what was that what, what did i did i and he he like reaches out and he touches her too like his fingertips barely skim her face and then he looks down at his own fingers and he kind of moves each finger one at a time like testing their reflexes and then he balls his fingers into a fist and he looks at her and and he smiles <laughs> what are you doing I'm, I'm back i'm back okay are you sure are you are you are you did i <laughs> what are you what, what? Are you? i don't i don't, i feel you came i feel back from the <clears throat> dead you had a big old hole in your brain and he just kind of ig- ignoring her a little bit at this point and i just rolled 23 for reflexes wow curtis i saw that um and he's smiling at her and then he he looks around the lab and then he looks at sasha and he just like pats blythe like very gently on the cheek he's like hold on hold on i think i can and blythe you just see harvey just like he's there and then suddenly he's not like it's this flash like it's barely a blur and suddenly he's at Sasha's side like he was sitting there with you and in the blink of an eye and just the blur of color he's over by Sasha and he um reaches down and he just he just pins Sasha down and it's it's easy for him like Sasha could be thrashing and trying to hurt himself and doing stuff, but Harvey, in the blink of an eye, he's by his side, and he just grabs his arms and pushes him down against the bed like it's effortless, and he just stares down at him. Hey. Hey, we're here, okay? And he's got, like, this new, like, weird confidence about him. Like, when he first came back, there was this sense of guilt and all these emotions and confusion on his face. And then he realized, like, he feels different. And so he's staring Sasha right in the face, and his his eyes are big, and he's covered in, 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 in blood and brains, and but he's smiling. And he looks almost like happier than he has been almost the whole time you've known him Blythe and Ernie like you haven't seen a carefree Harvey you haven't had the chance to uh, this makes me so fucking happy <laughs> <clears throat> um, Sasha is still losing his mind i mean he might be pinned but he is still thrashing and trying you know what i mean you're not holding his head down you might be holding his body down but he is still swinging his head and you know there's spittle and he's crying and he's like i i don't know that reality has hit him yet that you're actually there Harvey, like, readjusts himself a little bit. So he's kind of laying on top of Sasha, and he, like, kind of gets on to the table and, like, slings a leg over to pin his legs down, and he's got one arm over. It's It probably looks super awkward, but it's gentle and yet somehow so incredibly strong, and he's able to keep Sasha down. And he uses his other hand. He puts one arm across him to try to keep both arms down and his other hand he just like gently grabs a handful of Sasha's hair and keeps it against the table like firm enough that if Sasha moves his head around he's he's keeping it there in one place he's 
forcing him to not move. Um, and with that same like urgency and he's he gets closer. Hey. <laughs> Think of the light. Not 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 the light of the club. Think of I think of the sunrise. Remember? You, me, staying out, doing stupid shit. So late, we'd see the sun come up. Hi. Think of the light. Okay. And he, and he his, his grip on the hair gets like a, just a little bit more firm as he tries to like force Sasha to look him in the eyes. How did, how did we get here? <laughs> how did we get anywhere? How did you go from a total stranger to the most important person in my life? How did... <laughs> how did we go from living in boxes to uh, a, a celebrity life and a, and, a, and a crazy laboratory with an old dude? I don't know. I don't have the answers for you, Sasha, but I know that <clears throat> you're crazy, <laughs> and I'm crazy, and and we're both here, and I'm here. I I I, I told you I'd come back. Okay, you just <sighs> just take a moment, okay? Okay. We're here. Okay. Okay. Where okay. We are, but um. We're here. What? I, I don't I don't want to be here. Okay. I don't want to be here. I don't I don't want to be here. <laughs> hey, shh, 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 shh. I'll do anything for you. Right? We'll we'll go. Okay? Just close your eyes. Sasha closes his eyes. Harvey slowly like gets up off of them and then he just like picks him up and it's as easy as it was to restrain him in the first place it's like he picked up like a pillow and he just kind of laughs, <laughs> all right uh... <clears throat> sasha just like cradles you know what i mean like both arms around his neck and just just cradles into him and is just kind of sobbing um, and Harvey kind of like he looks he looks at everyone and he's holding Sasha and uh, keeping his head like down on his shoulder. <sighs> so um, <clears throat> I'm back. Let's get out of here. We can we can we can discuss the uh, the specifics on that later. And without even like waiting for a reply, Harvey will turn and try to find a door to get Sasha out of there. Is that enough of a relation move to get me out of broken? Um, yeah, what's your relation? It's a two, right? <laughs> yeah, all all Harvey has to do is show you some affection. And that counts with a touch. Well, yay, now I'm just irrational again. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get any stability so, from any of this? So normal. Um, no, you get stopped at the door, Harvey. Ah, oh, balls. <clears throat> um, as everybody's watching this, <clears throat> it's amazing what Harvey can do. I mean, it, it really is like, like Superman. And she just moves well like he, like he superman crossed with uh, the flash um strength now wait a minute superman is almost as fast as the flash i'm not a comic book guy i know i'm sorry I am. please please stop stop throwing things um <laughs> yeah i've I yeah i had i had um 
I'm, I'm the old. I I had Star Wars comic books when I was a kid. I wish I still had them because they were like I had one, two. I had one through ten. I don't know. Anyways, um, from like the seventies. You get stopped at the door, Harvey. Um, as you're, you've got Sasha in your arms and you make a break for the door, but the door starts to come open and you have to kind of like do one of those, you know, slam on the brakes real quick. And you, you know, you slide about a foot. Coney, come on. <laughs> I just saw the cat like Kitty fall cat. out of frame. <laughs> like like five I'm times. All these he's together. like trying to, he wants to lay on my keyboard. That's his favorite place to go. And he's like, right now keyboard and he starts up here you saw him he gets on the back of my chair and he like sits there like i'm just gonna sit here everything's cool and then he creeps down the side see Carry out. <laughs> yep yep <laughs> he's waiting and he's gonna like creep down the side and try to sneak over here and get on my lap and then anyway this is um conan the barbarian <laughs> i love that we call him Coney. He looks just like Baxter. You guys know Austin's Baxter. Yeah. He, he looks just like Baxter without the red. He doesn't have the red. He's he's all brown and gray. See, here he comes. He looks skinnier too. S- sneaking down. Yeah, no. Baxter's yeah. a fat boy. No, he's yeah, he's even more fat, and it's so much fun. Oh, <laughs> he's chunk. Oh. I love it. <laughs> He's big and bushy. Well, that was a big, huge distraction from Sorry. what was going on. That's all right. Dad, what We're... stops Harvey? He's just displayed superhuman speed and strength. Oh, whatever. And a cat, cat? stopped you. Yeah. Yeah. Cat but have you this cat? It's, 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 tonight is cat. It's, it's like all good conversations when a cat jumps into the frame. Everybody goes, oh, suddenly forget. Would you? Fuck. <laughs> he is incessant. If the stream drops, ladies and gentlemen, it's the cat's fault. It is. Oh, yep. He's he's doing the mew. He's doing the mew Jagman thing. Like I'm gonna get up in your shit, no matter what. All right, let's see if we can wrap this up. Harvey, you go to the door. You try to open the door. Or you don't try to open the door. You go and you make to open the door, but the door opens in front of you. Blythe, Dr. Kennedy, and Joel, you all see this as well. As the door, you, Harvey stops in her little flash moment. I, were you taking off with Sasha that quick? Uh, no, he was just walking okay. normally to the door to get out of there. But you're all watching because you're like, holy Sasha shit. Somewhere else. Yeah, Harvey, who is not the biggest dude in the world, has just like, lifted up Sasha, who's not the biggest dude in the world, but he's, you know, she, he did it with um, no effort. He just picked him up like it was a cat. <laughs> and um, so that in and of itself, you, it's kind of like wide-eyed. And as you look, and then Dr. Kennedy, the door to your lab swings open and another doctor comes through the front door front door comes through the door <laughs> that was perfect timing <laughs> dr conan the barbarian <laughs> comes through the door uh are you are you talking about my uh, doctor? Do I, do I recognize this doctor? Yes, yeah. this is this is Blythe's husband who has just come through the door. We've killed him twice now. Gun, <laughs> gun, is, gun, gun is in hand. Oh my god! Uh, he is a little bit bigger than you remember him, Blythe. You don't know if it's just a trick of your mind because you haven't seen him in a moment. Or if he really is bigger, but he is a tall, hulking sort of shape of a man um, from what he was. An imposing figure. And as he steps through the front door and looks over all of you sort of knowingly. That's what we're going to end tonight's session. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's so unfair. Uh, I- 
Like, I just scared me. I want to that. use my Superman power. I know you do. I know you do. Why don't I have Superman Why powers? Why doesn't Daisy have Superman powers? Oh, Harvey's not violent. Thank you. Oh, wow. Why does Krista sound like she's underwater? Ooh, I didn't like that. I just got so scared. I thought I, there was a demon coming. That was some me. straight up grudge shit right there. <laughs> it just yeah. lost my shit and just was like, what the fuck is that? I'm gonna die. That's that's one of the few times in this game where I had a shiver go down my spine. Like <laughs> legit shiver go down my spine. I was like, what is that? Oh, it's Krista. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. Why is it like Pretty that? scary story, Curtis. But the one thing that really got me <laughs> was that time that Krista's mic wasn't well, working. Right. I mean, it was definitely, I was on edge because the doctor is standing in the door, and then Krista's voice did that. And I was like, oh, did they plan that? Oh, my God. <laughs> we planned it. We all go die. The we doctor, all go die. Yeah, I, I got Krista one of the the voice One things the voice and, and <laughs> said, when the doctor comes through you're gonna start going crazy for me oh uh, well no awesome um sorry it was kind of a little bit short tonight but uh fucking florida traffic what are you gonna do and there's still halloween parties and stuff that people need to get to but it was a fun night and um, gaming is important to and me we too. got <laughs> we got some um points moved out that needed to be moved out and um advanced along so that was a lot of fun um i hope you guys had as much fun as i did uh, i always do so good so thanks to everybody um i don't have where's my outro i don't really have an outro planned um one of the things that i wanted to do was um our third announcement <laughs> our first announcement coney come on <laughs> 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 it's like 10 times in a row. He usually gives up after about five. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, let's see. I have to recap. Announcement number one. Um, Cult Divinity Lost Manhattan, the enlightened episodes. An eight episode um, epilogue arc to see what happens to these guys after this happens to them. Um, it's going to be amazing. Super Harvey. Um, and we go into those episodes. That's going to be exciting. And then that will finish out Cult Divinity Lost Manhattan. However, this troop is not done because they are going to continue on with the next installment of Cult Divinity Lost. And that is going to be our long, strange trip 72. 1972. These guys are going to take a little trip back in time. We're going to get, uh, I, I, I don't know what uh, wavy gravy is the word that comes to mind. And I know that's like the name of the guy at Woodstock. So it's not that, but it's a, a trip, man, a long, strange trip. That's going to happen. Dippy, man. Hip, hippy dippy. And these guys are all excited about it. And then I'm just, you know, they're all going to be like cool, um, you know, seventies people. And then I'm going to give them a whole bunch of, uh, scares and monsters and terrible things to have to deal with. And they'll hit me for it. So it's going to be fun, um, to watch at least, um, hopefully fun for these guys to play. Thank you players so much. Thanks again to Helmgast, um, for such an incredible game. Um, we love you guys. We can't wait to work with you, which brings me to our last announcement of the night. And that is that on Sundays beginning, um, once a month on Sundays, one Sunday a month. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I'll narrow it down to that much commitment right now. <laughs> we are planning it, but the first one is planned. We're trying to do a one shot a month of other um, powered by the apocalypse games. Probably, um, we're not limiting it to that, but that's what we're kind of focused on right now because we really love um, the the method, the storytelling and, and the narrative and all that kind of stuff with that system. But we have found a system, um, another game called root R O O T, um, that is, um, based off of a board game. There's a couple of people who've been playing it. It's streamed out there. There is a Kickstarter going right now. Duke, if I, if I miss something, um, help me out on this, but, um, we Duke, my um, creative director for TTRP Theater has been in contact with Magpie Games, the publishers of Root, and they have decided to help us out a little bit with that particular one shot. And we could not be any more happier about that. It's true. And so um, those publishers are going to help us out with that one shot. That is going to be November the 10th. 
yeah. in yeah just like a week or so so um keep an eye out for that um and we'll probably have some announcements coming up this week to remind you some pictures and all that good stuff this is just a little verbal thing i wanted to throw out there to let everybody know that we've got cool things going and that's going to be a, a one shot sunday a month um we're going to start with root um, magpie games is going to help us out with that one and um we hope to do some other ones we'll probably do maybe a little urban shadows or i don't know apocalypse world but we're going to do some rotating gms and a different crew and this is going to be a live table game multiple cameras live table um it's not going to be streamed in like this it's going to be um those of us who are within enough proximity to get together anyways that's going to be a lot of fun and that is going to be a fantasy game um jehoi matey here is going to be playing with us and duke is going to be gming that game um chris is playing chris is playing that's right um i'm going to be excited yeah I Curtis get pl- is playing. I, I'm playing. Yes. yes. He's I- playing, not DMing. <laughs> yes, I'm playing. And um, yes, a Our badger. Our wonderful friend Rashid is and coming Rashid. too. Um, yes. Yes. I have she a delightful character. I can't wait to introduce him. Okay. <laughs> And yes, Great. Rashid will get him back. I'm so excited to get him back on TTRP. Every time we try to get him on, some crazy thing happens, and we lost him for Waterdeep. And I got to get him in on a Greyhawk episode. That was fun, and he was a blast to watch on Waterdeep. So I am excited um, to have him back again with us um, for Root. And that's coming um, November 10th, and um, that is a fantasy game. We all play Little Critters with uh skills and so yeah it'll be cute and fun um well duke it, is it might be it's, cute it's not i hope it'll be fun destroy <laughs> but really I, it's a it's a game about alive. it's a yeah it's a game about uh, a group of assholes <laughs> yes who, uh, i run around I, in the woods on uh, fire yeah I, blow I, stuff up I'm a badger asshole, and I will be cute. Um, Scratch everything. I'm a cat. <laughs> for um, okay, so that's happening, and um, let's quickly go around the table for tonight's episode and get a quick reaction. Have everybody um, say whatever they want to say, and um, yeah, let's start with uh, Sasha. Uh, this was crazy, and. Um... I had no idea that I was going to die. Did I die? I don't know. I guess kind of died. Yeah, I think I died. (laughs) Um, Broken twice in two episodes. Um, Maybe things are happening. Three times in three episodes. I don't know. We'll put it this way. Um, Your your soul is not right. Yeah, that's obvious. Um, I love all of you. I love this game. I'm so grateful for everybody that watches. I'm so great. I'm really especially grateful for Curtis and and for the other four of you that, um, you know, come along for this madness. Um, I'm Invisible Duke on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'm also the creative director here at TTRP Theater, as Curtis said. Um, So please join us. uh, Come on the Discord. Check us out on Twitter and Facebook, all those things. and if you are interested in uh, the games, um, we're, we're all very active on the Discord and love to talk about this game and all the other games that go on. Um, so yeah, check us out. Um, thanks again for watching. Curtis, thanks for running the game. It, it's uh, I look forward to it from the minute that we're done playing until we start playing again the next time. So All love. Let's go down to uh, Miss Florida Traffic. I'm always fucking muted. You did! <laughs> God. Hello, yes. Uh, it is I, Krista. That was a good game. I'm glad I caught the most of it and that I wasn't hung up in traffic for too long. Wow. I, I really wanted to get in front of that statue, Curtis. <laughs> why, why you gotta throw the doctor at me? <laughs> it's coming. Uh, It'll be great. It'll be fine. Anyway, you can find me on Instagram at Krista the Barista. You can also find my cat, Binks the Black Cat, on Instagram as well. And, you know, sometimes on Heartland when I don't have to work. <laughs> hey, you Did you catch the episode? No, I haven't yet. <sighs> Poor Sabella. Lance, man. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sabella. 
What happened to did, me? Did, did, did Blythe Tana learn Tana nothing from the time? She, did Blythe learn nothing from the time she missed an episode? <laughs> oh, you didn't. Yeah, Sabella. You haven't spent the time plant. watching and seeing what happened to Sabella. No. You should I probably haven't. go watch that episode. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Sorry, <laughs> Sabella. Okay. Curtis it, really likes taking advantage of disadvantages when players <laughs> aren't around. I hate that. <laughs> well, right. they don't fight back when <laughs> when that happens. <laughs> yeah, you can just do whatever you want. It's twisted. It's I sick. just hope you're ready to roll a new character. <laughs> I don't think you go uh, that far. No, uh, you're good. You're all good. We love you, Crease to the Barista. Thanks for being here. Thanks for fighting the Florida traffic to join us. Um, yes, and I and from what I heard in the background, it sounds like you got pizza on the way. Um, pizza. <laughs> so let's jump next door to the other man with the feline problem, Doctor Ernest Kennedy. Are they really problems, though? Uh, mine are. Yeah. Have you been to my house? Yeah. I love Doc Sauce. I love him too, but he's a problem. <laughs> uh, my name is Chris Stone Cipher. You can find me on Twitter at Chris Stone Cipher. You can find Mew Jackman uh, on Instagram at The Greatest Meowman uh, and potentially Jane Klonda. Uh, TBT. I, I, yeah, I still haven't gotten fully sold on that. Oh, she at, least, she at least stopped hissing at me. <laughs> yeah, she did give the camera a look, so that was nice. <laughs> awesome. I love this game. I can't believe that Ernie doesn't have superpowers yet. Rude. It's coming. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all, and I love this game, and I'm super excited for next week. <laughs> Outstanding. All right. Then let's go. Uh, we'll just keep going down the line, and that really takes us to Joel. Hi, yeah. <laughs> you can find me on the Twitters and the Instagrams at Erica in More 97. I'm also the community manager here at TTRP Theater. And as of late, I've not been hanging out in the Discord too much because I never realized how hard it is to get up at six o'clock in the morning every day. <laughs> I recently joined the ranks of employed and it's not easy. <laughs> I'm tired. So bear with me as I keep our social medias up to date. I haven't been doing too bad. I did lose it at the end of this week, but yeah. hey, I'm tired. You can usually catch her in a window from about six to eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good one, but I will, I'm, I'm trying to get the schedule figured out. So bear with me. So like Duke said, if you haven't followed us on Twitter, Facebook, or joined our discord, think about joining up, send us your spicy memes. Those are so much fun. I enjoy putting those on our Facebook page. So if you make a spicy meme about any of our shows, send them to me because I want to see them and I want the world to see them. So we can do that by joining our discord. What exactly makes a meme spicy? The best, the best of the best. Yeah, oh, okay. You have, to have do, a, you have to do it. Too. Of dankness. Oh, to make dang. it spicy. Oh, okay. So if I okay, yeah, dank memes then become spicy memes. All right, I think I'm getting and this down. You, and then you got to do it, too. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's another one. All right. Um, yeah, Curtis, don't you know? <laughs> you got to do it. Do what the them. young kids do and do it to them. Yeah, <laughs> the I've, memes. Curtis. Man, I feel older and older every day. We'll get to there. Don't you worry. So then, all right, then we're going to jump up to the one character who did hit their superpowers, came back from the dead. All you have to do is die. Harvey Winston. Yeah, that's right. See how easy it is? <laughs> all you got to do it's is so take easy. a bullet to the face. Ernie, you want superpowers? Just let Joel kill you a little bit. Anyway, <laughs> it's my time to talk. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jay Lee. Um, I also play Daisy Hamilton on our Wednesday night um, Colt Games, and I will be playing in our upcoming very exciting Long Strange Trip Colt game, another character very different from Harvey and Daisy altogether. So I'm excited for that. Um, wow, tonight. I was getting a little worried that I wouldn't get to show off my fun new little superpowers. And then at the end there, 
like now's my time <laughs> had to and hold very Sasha excited down. very excited for harvey to kind of step into himself and you know he needs he needs this self-confidence a little bit he's been having a hard time so he does. i love him i love him to pieces um, I do want to shout out to D- Tidor, by the way, who is mm-hmm. an avid supporter and has contributed greatly to the spicy memes. The um, <laughs> the ones from, gosh, I can't remember which episode it was. I think it was 14 or 13 with Ernie and the Ramen. <laughs> yes. created some so amazing good. memes. So thank you so much, Tidor, for all of your support. I really, really love like talking with you and seeing you on the chat and stuff. Um, you can find me on Twitter at... Jahoy underscore matey and then i'm on the discord all the time if you ever want to chat too awesome thank you so much thanks to all of you out there who um came out to watch us live or if you um are watching us later on youtube we appreciate that hit the uh, subscribe button doesn't cost you anything and the youtube algorithms love us um it helps us out and for all and and it helps new people find us and that's the most important thing that's what we use youtube for we put all of our content on youtube for free and that is for discoverability because youtube is the way to get that done um for new fans to find us um and we are getting new fans uh shout out to all of our cultists out there on the discord channels the the cult discord channels that we've uh that duke especially has been perusing um lately we've been reaching out to all of them thank you all for um coming out to watch and supporting what we do here at tabletop roleplay theater um what we do is truly for the fans um it is the one thing that makes us a little bit different from some of the other streams the one thing that i have really tried to foster with all of our players is that while we all want to have fun playing a game um the role play and the kicking it out an extra level to make it entertaining for you guys makes it even more fun for um, at least uh, the, my core group, these people here who um, have some acting backgrounds, um, they all get involved in that stuff. And all of our other role players on our other shows too really enjoy putting it out there, just just laying it all out there. And we do that for you people um, over the game. The fun of playing the game is a byproduct of producing a good show for you. Um, and that's our goal here at Tabletop Role Play Theater. So I'll get off my soapbox. That was my three announcements for tonight. We loved having you all here. Thank you, players, for coming out and playing this game with me. We love it. Um, thank you, Helmgast. Thank you, Roll20. Um, thanks, Magpie, for uh, throwing us some, some support en route. Um, we hope we do you justice with that. And for all of you out there who um, love and support what we do, um, I want to say to you, um, good night. We love you. And sweet dreams. That's the wrong order. Yeah, yeah, no, I, 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 I don't have my script in front of me. Say it. Say it. Good night. 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 Good night.